It is time for our new favorite segment, Take My Advice. First up, Stephen A., I hear you have something to say to Ty Lu. Yes, Tyron Lue, the head coach for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's what I think he needs to do. He needs to tell everybody, including LeBron James, to sit the hell down, shut the hell up, and follow my instructions. He's got to take complete control, and I'm not trying to imply that he doesn't have it because I don't know. But it certainly didn't look that way last night. LeBron James is on the sideline trying to instruct everybody. They're not really listening collectively as a defensive unit. They're not listening right now, getting blown out, giving up 100-plus points in 30 of their 41 games. It's embarrassing at times to see their effort and the way that they're getting punked. He needs to tell them they're getting punked. He needs to challenge them to step up, which I'm sure he's doing. And he needs to rec make sure he remembers mm -hmm. that fair or not, he's ultimately the one that will be held accountable when things go awry. So as a result of that, if you got to take, if you got to go down with the ship, then mm -hmm. damn it, take control over it and make sure you go down your way. That's my advice to Tyron Lou, And that is what I think he should follow. Flex on him, Ty. Show him who's boss. Max, before you go in, do you think Lou should take Stephen A's advice? I actually don't because I think that Ty Lou is there at the pleasure of LeBron James. LeBron James is the GM and the coach of this franchise, really, functionally. And, and Ty Lou should give, you know, in the press, I don't know what he talks about agendas. Uh, I, I suppose if you're Ty Lue, it's good advice. Hey, take charge. But the reality is LeBron James will have this figured out by the time the playoffs roll around. All right, different approach. Defer to LeBron. Max, it is your turn to help out Le'Veon Bell. What you got? Le'Veon Bell, you are the best running back in football. You are the best player who plays the position in football. Yes, better than Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott and all those guys. Johnson, when he's healthy, you are number one. And I understand why you threaten a holdout, because you need to get paid. But here's my advice. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. The, in, in any negotiation, the only real leverage is when you're willing to follow through. So if you say you're willing to sit out a season, not retire, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but sit out a whole season, and if, that, if you think that gets you where you need to be, be ready to do it. I know people will tell you, well, this is how you make a living, but you will preserve your body. You will not be hurt in the meantime. You will have more tread on your tires when you come back. Be willing to do it. Just don't talk about it. Be about it. You know, money talks, BS walks, and small change takes the bus. Do it if you say you're going to do it. Oh, I like that. Stephen A., you with I, it? Well, I don't, I, I don't disagree with what Max is saying mm -hmm. because it's never good to bluff. You can't bluff. But I think more so than talking about it and being ready to walk, the first order of business Le'Veon Bell has to do is show up this weekend against the Jacksonville Jaguars. That will go a long way towards helping his case.